the relation between time and distance x is this is the given relation alpha and beta are constants the relation between acceleration and velocity first take the given relation t is equals to alpha x square plus beta x t is time x is distance alpha and beta are constants by using this relation we have to find out the relation between acceleration and velocity do one thing differentiate the given equation with respect to time why because we know rate of change of displacement is called velocity to get the velocity differentiate the given equation with respect to time lhs side dt by dt so d by dt of time is equals to alpha constant d by dt of x square plus beta is constant d by dt of x alpha differentiation of x square becomes to 2x into dx by dt plus b into dx by dt only dx by dt is equals to velocity 2 alpha x into velocity plus beta into velocity in these two terms take velocity common v into 2 alpha x plus beta in lhs side dt by dt becomes to 1 from this velocity is equals to 1 by 2 alpha x plus beta again differentiate this equation with respect to time on both sides why because to get the acceleration take this equation again 2 alpha x v plus beta v is equals to 1 when we differentiate on both sides 2 alpha constant d by dt of x v plus beta constant d by dt of v differentiation of constant only constant is 0 2 alpha here differentiation of product of two terms we know d by dt of uv is equals to u into dv by dt plus v into du by dt remember this formula here first to take x constant x into dv by dt now take v constant plus v into dx by dt plus beta into dv by dt rate of change of velocity is acceleration 2 alpha into x into again in place of dv by dt take a plus v into dx by dt again velocity v into v becomes to v square plus beta a is equals to 0 now multiply with 2 alpha 2 alpha x a plus 2 alpha v square plus beta a is equals to 0 now from these two terms 2 alpha x a plus beta a take a common a into beta plus 2 alpha x this term goes to rhs side becomes to minus 2 alpha v square a is equals to minus 2 alpha v square by beta plus 2 alpha x we know velocity is equals to 1 by 2 alpha x plus beta substitute here in place of 1 by beta plus 2 alpha x velocity minus 2 alpha v square into v then finally acceleration becomes to minus 2 alpha v cube this is the relation between acceleration and velocity a is equals to minus 2 alpha v cube Check the given options. 
सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट